Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the utmost character of our world around us and in this video we will try to answer uh, the question about uh, the following question I should say how the practical and wise politician should approach to the religion. We know that in a majority of the societies there are people uh, who uh, have different religious affiliation or belong to different branches of different religions. And we know that since, since the um, on a massive scale uh, Enlightenment age, French Revolution, many people started fighting with religion. They really wanted to eradicate religion from the public and even from the private life. The extreme example was Albania of Enver Hoxha, who closed all churches, Catholic, Orthodox and all mosques in Albania. And in 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Albania was proclaimed to be fully atheistic country. Which is actually funny, uh, for, uh, funny uh, in my opinion, because atheism can be also considered uh, as a very strong religion. But the uh, role of God in atheism is attributed to lack of God, because it cannot be fully proven. Uh, exactly in the same way, like the existence of the God, it cannot be fully proven with the tools and rational apparatus given by our mind, um, which we have in this world, we cannot prove or disprove the God of existence or non-existence. That is why, to me, it's a case of Albania, very tragic, shows us that one set of religions, so in case of Albania, mainly Sunni Islam, Orthodox Christianity and Catholic minorities, were replaced by the uh, very aggressive uh, fierceful religion, uh, communistic atheism. That, that it. That's, that's it. That's why we cannot say, in contrast to this what communistic propaganda was saying, that during, Enver, during the dictatorship of Enver Hoxha, that Albania was purely non-religious state. It was atheistic state, but it was very fiercely religious. So, uh, the coming back to the first question I, I asked in the beginning of this video, how wise politician or wise man in general should approach to the religion? Mm, in my opinion, the approach wise one should be as follows. One, regardless of uh, private uh, opinions or private beliefs, uh, pragmatic and wise politician or wise man should understand first that in contrast to this, what people were thinking, and still some people think, the ideological children of the Enlightenment age, saloons of Enlightenment age from France, religion cannot be eradicated from social life. No. A majority of humans need some spiritual dish, let's say, given in a mm, accessible form for them. And in most cases, this accessible form is religion, because everyone can adapt uh, his or her understanding of religious teachings to his or her intellectual capacities, which is true. Yes, there are some thinkers or intellectually, uh, I would say maybe not stronger or braver, but intellectually capable people in this sense. Capable, it doesn't mean better than others or not, but capable people that can live without any religion and they do not have to belong to any religious group. Okay, but this is the absolute minority, maybe few percent, in fact. But, my, but the rest, the vast majority of population needs something to be given to them, to make them feel better, to make them feel secure and to give them some sense in life. Fine. So that's why wise politician or statesman or wise man needs to understand, as I mentioned, that in contrast to this, what we were being taught for the last 200 years and plus few decades, religion cannot be eradicated from human life. No, that's why we need to uh, accept it and we shouldn't tease 
religious people, we shouldn't uh, mock them, we shouldn't behave bad towards them, we should understand their needs and the fact that they need to satisfy their needs somehow. Of course, uh, state should promote religious cults that are not harmful too much to the people and state, that's why this political wise man statement, statesman, needs to take care that people from different religious groups will not battle each other fiercely and no one will be hurt. So the main uh, task for the wise statesman is to uh, keep equilibrium between the religious groups and uh, social order. And religion can be useful in keeping social order when it's managed properly. Of course, wise uh, man on the top doesn't go into the details of theological disputes of this or that religion. He leaves it uh, to the, mm, I would say, benevolent fathers of this or that religious group to deal with the problems. This is my approach, how wise men should, what, what should be the attitude of the wise men towards religion in the social life. And we need to understand that regardless if we like it or not, religion cannot be eradicated. And if one religion, for some reasons, gets weaker and loses uh, followers, very quickly another one will appear that will, uh, that will hand over these followers and arrange them according to uh, its own teachings and principles. This is how uh, it works and human population, with the exception of the few percent of thinkers or, I depend or spiritually independent people, majority of people are simply the market for religious preacher to, uh, to work for their own benefits and to uh, grasp as many followers as possible. Population is the market for the religious preachers and they are compete with each other for new fo followers there. And state should uh, take care that this competition between preachers for new followers will have as much as possible peaceful character. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.